Next, I'm going to use my Gracie Curettes to scale um, my arches. When doing this, I have the patient positioned at my waist level and my forearms are parallel to the floor. I'm going to select the correct working end before beginning the instrumentation. I'll be using a firm modified pen grasp and working with my palm of my hand up in the maxillary arch and down on the mandibular arch. I'm going to establish a firm fulcrum close to the, my working area, maintaining the fulcrum throughout each stroke. I'm going to place the instrument subgingivally to reach deposits with the terminal shank positioned parallel to the long axis of the tooth. I'm going to adapt one third of the working end inside of the instrument tip and apply a moderate lateral pressure against the instrument and maintain pressure throughout the stroke. The instrument will not come off of the tooth until the stroke is complete. I'm going to use flexing or rotary motion and not finger motion to move the instrument. I'm going to use firm, controlled, overlapping strokes in either a vertical or slightly digital direction. The cutting edge stays adapted to the tooth as the instrument is advanced around the tooth. I'm going to completely cover the interproximal area and beyond center of proximal surface and explore the tooth following an instrument to determine if the deposit has been removed. I'm going to use my 1314 to work on the distal surfaces of the teeth. So select my correct working end with it parallel to the tooth. Have a nice firm fulcrum. And pull down. Go to the next tooth, distal surface overlapping and pull down. Then I'm going to use my 1516 as I move mutually, selecting the correct working end. Those are for my posterior teeth. For my anterior teeth, I'm going to be using the 5-6 Gracie Curette. Selecting the correct working end, I'll go to the mandibular so my palm is down. Select the correct working end. This is for my distal. As I move majorly, I'm going to switch working ends. Oh, 
know. And hold the tooth so it doesn't fall out.